Have you ever heard of Johnson grass? Well, if you haven't, you don't want it. It is one of the most difficult weeds to control. Most weed killers won't kill it. If you have it, and, and we're near a road here, you'll see it commonly grown along the highway. It grows this big. What can you do with it? You can mow it to the ground. That's probably the easiest, except we, we're not allowed to mow along the road. Or in flower gardens, you can just pull it out of the garden and you can see why this is a really tough weed. It produces long rhizomes that pop up here. Next one pops up here. The only spray that you could possibly use early in the spring is known as Bonides grass beater. And it's a weed killer that just kills grass, but the grasses have to be young and short, less than eight inches tall. One weed, and I shouldn't be touching it, I'm going to regret this, is the weed with three leaves. And that is known as poison ivy. And what happens is, let's say you're in here pruning your trumpet vine. Here's the trumpet vine. That can become a weed. You're pruning it. Oh, there's no problem with pruning this. But intertwined in the trumpet vine is poison ivy. So you have to really be careful. And a lot of times poison ivy will carpet the ground with little runners. So sometimes they'll take a rake and rake it out of the flower garden. Again, lots of weed killers. I don't want to focus on weed killers other than the fact that you need to read the label. Because a weed killer that might kill the poison ivy might be a weed killer that will not kill this Johnson grass. The weed killer that will kill Johnson grass may not kill the poison ivy. Another weed that many of us have in our garden, might not see it till now, is pokeberry. And the best way to get rid of it is to dig out the root. Now, I'm not going to do that for you because it's going to take too long. But what you're going to do is come in with the sharp shovel. Now, remember, these roots can go down three feet deep. So the more you cut this and the deeper you cut it to the ground where year after year it doesn't get fresh leaves, the better the chance you're going to have to eliminate it. Here we have a cornucopia of my most hated weeds. Well, foxtail isn't the worst one. They're pretty easy to pull out of the ground. Normally I would shear them before they got to this stage in producing their seed or I would cut them and have a lawn sweeper and dispose of as much of it as I can. I guess my next hated weed, well, there's two for the tie. It's known as mare's tail. And this is sort of looks like, I did trim it back, but this is what the foliage looks like about a month ago. Then it grows into this. Then it grows into this and just watch this has 250,000 weed seeds, just one stem. One of my disliked weeds. Cut it back, shear it. A lot of people ask, what about weed killers? <laughs> Roundup doesn't touch it. Uh, 2,4-D doesn't touch it. Most of the weed killers, as homeowners, will not phase this weed. It's a really tough, so, but it's easy to put out of the ground. The last weed that's tied with this mare's tail is going to be yellow nut sedge. My grandfather, when I was a kid, before they had weed killers, yellow nut sedge is a sedge. So you can get weed killers that say control sedge. You always have to read the label. You always have to be careful if you're using it around plants. But my grandfather would have me dig it up like this. And he would have a wire screen. And every little nodule on this weed, would, and that's that small, would have to be screened out of the soil. Because if you just pulled this up, 
forget it. It's going to come back next year. So he would have a wire screen that I would shake back and forth to prevent those little baby nodules. It's like uh, those onions are growing in the garden. You pull the onion, you leave most of them under the ground to come up next year. Get your workout. Get rid of yellow nut sedge. I'm Mark Viet. Join me next time in the garden. For more garden tips, go to inthegardenradio.com.